I'm Sonic. This is a Go AZ Motorcycles in Scottsdale, a, a KTM Orange Level certified dealer and service center. Um, today we're going to be taking apart a KTM engine. It's a racing four-stroke engine or RFS motor for short. Um, this is a customer who races it in the Baja 1000 and basically I'm just taking it apart top to bottom and race prepping the engine make sure it's going to be uh, durable and reliable for the race. So. Um, First thing we'll start is taking the top end apart. I've already taken a couple peripheral components off. Um, oil line for the top end. Um, and some of these components over here, I got the starter, the shifter, the countershaft sprocket. Um, so those are all off the engine, they're really not needed. I've locked the crank at top dead center because KTM's you can lock the uh, crank so the engine doesn't move. So while you're working on it, it stays at top dead. You can retime it and everything like that if you're just doing a top end. Um, so we'll start by removing the valve covers. Um, since the engine's on top dead, what I like to do before I take an engine apart is check the valve clearance. That'll lead me to lead, lead me to know anything if uh, anything's wrong. I have to look at when I do take it apart. So that one's tight. That one's tight. That one's good. That one's good. So now I know when I take it apart to take a good look at the intake valves, make sure if anything's damaged or uh, anything I see that's incorrect. Next to the valve. And the water pump cover. There's your water pump cover, bolts, valve cover bolts. Now these are sealed, so sometimes you got to give them a little tap. So there's your uh, followers and rocker arms, camshaft, valve train, timing chain, things like that. Now in order to take KTM apart, you actually have to break the chain. You have to separate in two pieces as opposed to just loosening it and be able to get the cam out. So before we do that, we have to loosen the cam chain tensioner. It's right here on the side. Make sure you pull the back out and the spring itself. Don't lose any of those. And remove the tensioner itself. Now we have to break the chains, we can pull the cam off and then remove the rest of the top end. In order to do that, we have a special tool. It's a KTM tool, you use it to remove uh, the timing chain links and, uh, and reinstall them when you're done. So I'll just pick a plate. It's kind of like removing a chain off of the back end of a motorcycle on the, the rear drive chain. Basically just pushing a pin out. What you don't want is the pin to fall down in the motor if you're not taking the motor apart. I will be taking the engine apart, so it's not that big of a deal for me if I do. I still don't want to drop it down in the engine. So pin removed. Timing chain broken. Now I can remove the camshaft. And as I do, as I take everything apart, you inspect it for wear. Um, so just look for any wear wearing items or anything that looks out of the ordinary. Um. Alright, next we're going to remove the cylinder head, remove the head stud. And washers.
the cylinder and head together as a unit. Pull it up. And if you were not replacing your piston and you were just going to uh, mess with the bottom end or do something else that required you not to replace the piston, at this point you would leave it in the cylinder, remove the piston pin, and then once you reinstall it, you'd put the pin back in and you'd use it in the piston. I'm going to uh, rebuild the entire engine, so I'm going to pull it out. So that's that. So there's your removing the top end. Now you would inspect the piston for wear, inspect the cylinder for wear. Um, and in this case, I'm going to look at the intake valves for wear, and I'll look at those real quick. Now you have three bolts holding the cylinder to the head. We'll remove those and the cylinder and head should separate real easy. And this engine's actually missing one bolt. So we'll have to replace that when we reassemble. There we go. Inspect the cylinder for wear. Look for cross hatching, things like that. Um, now, looking at the intake valves, I can already see that they are really, really sucked into the cylinder head. So, for this engine, I'm going to recommend replacing the engine valves or the intake valves. Um, I will also pull the exhaust valves out and look at the condition of those. So, there you have it. it top end disassembly um, and inspection and. Uh, the next segment, I guess, uh, we're going to tear apart either the clutch cover or the ignition cover, one of those, and then we'll move on to the engine cases and we'll have a completely disassembled engine. See you next time.